587 grams. Wow, that's a big one. Jung Hatsagar with Locust Fermentation Solutions, uh, working in the Ag Department. Um, we are here conducting a multi-crop trial with our products, Rhizolizer and, and Wicker. Um, we have six crops that we are testing our products on here. We have tomatoes starting off, then we have zucchinis, we have peppers, we have cucumbers, orange carrots, and lettuce. Have you noticed the difference? Uh, with lettuce, we're seeing the difference, and um, we're seeing some difference with cucumbers visually too, with growers' practice and our treatments that we can show you over there. Okay. Um, we... And we're seeing difference in the tissue data from lettuce. We're seeing more nitri nitrates and potassium going into the tissue from the soil, which is really a good sign. So even just like this short distance compared to like this distance, which is one of our treatments, I think there's like a big difference. Big visual size. difference, yeah. So There's never really been an efficacious, um, cost-effective microbial solution for farmers. And that was, the, that was the challenge, that was the pain point for farmers. And so what we did was we designed a cocktail of non-GMO microorganisms um, that farmers could use with great consistency to uh, achieve the goals they wanted in their, uh, with their crops. We've, we've uh, treated you know, over a dozen crops and gotten results like, you know, uh, 40% increases in production of, of tomatoes and 25% increases in potatoes and um, you know a whole range of uh, high value crops and um, even row crops like corn and soy soybeans. Now we now we have uh, you know something that's very exciting to the world: greenhouse gas reduction, carbon sequestration, everything that we're treating and showing that we're you know a, a immediately available solution to greenhouse gases. If you take our our citrus data and extrapolate it, mm -hmm. um, we're essentially taking one car off the road from, an, from a carbon standpoint for every acre we treat. Uh, but we've got a really crack team of scientists led by two senior scientists and they've designed fermentation technology that allows us to deliver microbes at up to 100 times the concentration of, of of our competitors. So once you're allowed, to, once you can, in, you, once you have that kind of step change uh, increase in uh, in the delivery of, of microbes, then you you get results that you know people have never seen before. For all of our products, uh, we start from petri dishes, uh, which we grow on different augers that are selective for the strains, and then we go from our petri dishes into shake flasks. Okay. Uh, what you see here. Uh, these grow for a specific amount of time based on what strain we're growing. We have reactors here that are kind of pilot, uh, so that's how we optimize our media, different growth conditions for our strains um, before we take it into larger scale and then ultimately like into final production. So what, what kind of challenges do you see ahead in terms of getting this more commonly used or accepted among growers? That term, uh, you know, Missouri as a show me state might have been coined by farmers because they don't just jump in and innovate, they, they try. And so you, you take a whole growing season to, to establish credibility. So we want to have the freshest, highest quality product to our customers and so we're always looking for new ways to do things. And, okay. and when Lotus contacted me and Z and they wanted to do this, we thought this is a great opportunity for them to have good field, on-hand field test results and a good opportunity for us to see you know, what these products are doing. Mm -hmm. um, and if I have a step up on everybody else, that's great because that's what I'd like to have. It's going to be exciting to see. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a lot of products out there and they say they have the magic bullet. Yeah. Who knows? You know, right. what better place to have it tested than out here on my farm? Yeah. And we're constantly trying new things to see. So they might work, and if they don't, well, then yeah. we don't do it again.